David Egan, the NDP Minister of Education here in Alberta, is a liar. He's a flip-flop. He's a two-faced, two-timing politician, which is why he is the feature on today's episode of Meet Your Destroyers. David Egan, the NDP Minister of Education here in Alberta, is a liar. And it started all before he actually became Minister of Anything, before he ever thought it would be possible to be an NDP Minister in Alberta. Back when he was chanting no new approvals for pipelines on the steps of the Alberta Legislature. No new approvals! No new approvals! No new approvals! No new approvals! David Egan has wrought untold damage to Alberta in the time that he's been an NDP minister. From our culture to our children's education and everything in between, David Egan has had a direct hand in destroying a once great province, turning it into a shadow of what it used to be under the Premier's Ralph Klein and Peter Lougheed. His campaign under Premier Rachel Notley has even had the arrogance of saying they are running under Peter Lougheed's legacy, something that Peter Lougheed's own son has denounced on Twitter. David Egan has had a direct hand in making sure that 40% of grade 9 students failed their math exams. 40% failed their math exams. That prompted us to put up a billboard, our first billboard in a series of billboards, to fire David Egan. We called for Rachel Notley to fire the Minister of Education before the next election so that Albertans didn't have to wait six months to fire the worst education minister that this province has seen in decades. When I went up to Edmonton to cover the GSA rally, David Egan happened to be there. GSAs were under his purview as Minister of Education and I wanted to ask him if he felt responsible for the damage that he has done to Alberta throughout his time as an NDP minister. Minister Egan, do you feel responsible for making an entire okay, generation... Not, not doing any interviews today. Do you work for him? So are you partly responsible for the 40% of grade 9 students who failed math? Help them Minister Egan, can you tell me why you pose next to a bunch of children flagging the ISIS symbol? Maybe next step, next election, you could work on disability stuff. Yes, yes, well, absolutely. Please. You betcha, absolutely. Good luck with that. Can you tell me why one of your staffers just tried to lift my camera off my shoulder? Do you feel at all responsible for the 40% of grade 9 math students who failed under your watch? I told you he doesn't have a comment today. He was just here for the students. Did you enjoy the billboard on the side of Highway 2? No? Now, even though his thugs tried to keep me away from him by surrounding him and letting him get away, and even a staff member tried to make sure that I knew he wasn't going to be answering any questions even though he was in a public space and he would have gladly answered any questions from Global News or CBC. Instead, he just ignored me and walked away. It's clear that he has no regrets for the damage that he's done to Alberta. Thankfully, on April 16th, I think Albertans are going to give his government the boot. But in the meantime, I thought it was worth asking if he had any regrets whatsoever. And there were none. For the Rebel Media, I'm Kean Bexty. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed our coverage. I hope you enjoyed the questions that I asked David Egan. Nobody else is going to ask them. Global News, CTV, CBC, none of them would bother to ask David Egan why he allowed 40% of grade 9 students to fail their math exams, why he posed with kids making the ISIS salute. It's just disgusting what this minister has done. If you enjoyed our coverage, please be sure to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and maybe even purchase yourself a premium subscription to The Rebel. That way you can stay up to date with all of the questions that I ask NDP ministers throughout this campaign.